Hello, this is a, a video about using a WordPress plugin called WP Video Lightbox and it lets you open YouTube videos in a, uh, a lightbox, it's a fancy effect. So you need to install the plugin, go to wordpress.org, find WP Video Lightbox, install it on your site and then you want to go up just underneath here um, on the plugin page it says for video tutorials, screenshots and documentation go to this page here. So visit that page and if you scroll down the page you'll see there's two different places you can get some a thing called short code. Now you can either where it says download the the usage instructions you can either download that which is a printable guide or for further down the page at the moment this might not be there when you uh, when you actually install the plugin but at the moment there's some code down here an example short code that shows how to use it so the one I would recommend is there's one that says rel equals zero there and there's one that says and rel equals false I would use a piece of code that uses rel equals false it just seems to work better so this is what we're after we're after the short code and it starts off with video lightbox YouTube so if you copy that short code we're going to paste that into our web page <coughs> <Pardon me. coughs> right so in WordPress just click in the page we're doing the visual editor click in the page and paste your short code now it's already got some uh, information inside it and we want to, to edit that information change it to suit us so first of all we need to go to YouTube and find the video watch the video that we want to use now I want to inst to add this video to my website so I watch the video and underneath it says share so I click share embed and then I choose how big I want my video to be now I want a bigger picture than that I'm going to have 640 by 480 so I'll choose that now you see this where it says show suggested videos I don't want to show suggested videos when the thing is finished but if I tick that box it just makes this bit of code a bit easier to deal with so I've chosen I've gone share embed chosen a, a video size click the show suggested videos button and I'm going to copy the code well I, yeah I'm going to copy the code now I've got to put this into a, a text editor because there's more code than I need so oh, the only bit of code I want is where it says source here SRC I just want what's between the double quotes so the double quote there and then a finishing double quote here and I just want a bit here so if you find source equals HTTP and then youtube.com embed then a forward slash and after the forward slash I'm copying this piece of code up to this the end double quote there so I'll copy that so I've only copied a little bit of it this is actually the WordPress ID it's the ID for the video but we don't need the whole piece of the code we just need that little bit like gobbledygook We've got gobbledygook there so I'll copy that and I put that into my code here so where it says video ID equals paste in there we're going from the uh, ID equals and a double quote or going from the double quote up to where there's a an ampersand an and sign there so that's what we're pasting in there I'm going to paste in our new video um, ID there now the size what size was I going to use let's have a look the size was 640 now I think look has it the sample yeah the sample video size is the same size but if it wasn't I could just change that where it says 640 and 480 width and height I could just change that and it's got code there that says click me so let's update it and have a look all right we'll view the post actually that's that one we'll update this is the post so when it says click me there's our cat so if we click the view button and our video plays <laughs> a 
anyway. Now what you can do, if you want to change the text, just edit that text there when it says click me, but what you can also do is add an image, make a thumb, instead of having um, a text link, you can make a thumbnail there. Now all you need to know is the URL of the thumbnail image that you want to use. So the way I'm going to find that is just to add an image to my page. So just click add media. Now this is the one, this is a screenshot, I took a screenshot of the YouTube video and um, uploaded it to my media uh, file in um, WordPress. So that's all that is, that's just a screenshot and I've cropped it and saved it as an image. So select the image and if you scroll down wait, where it says attachment display settings click alignment none and link to none. Now the reason I'm doing that is it just makes it a little bit less code for us to deal with when we insert it in the page. I've chosen a medium size image, thumbnail image, so insert into the post. Now if we go to text, we've got visual mode or text mode, we're going to go to text mode and this is the code I've just inserted. Now what I'm looking for is where it says source here, SRC, and then there's HTTP and it's the, the URL or the path to your image. So I'll copy that, I'll just show you what I mean. Let's have a look, put that one up. There we go, put that further down there. So what you've got, you've got HTTP on your website, we'll say localhost, this is um, a web server inside my laptop. So, uh, but this is the path to your image and it tells WordPress exactly where to find the image. Now the reason we're doing it this way is because it's got the size there. It tells WordPress how big the image wants to be. So we're going to paste that instead of the, the um, click me text. So when it says click me down here, we can get rid of that image now. We don't need it anymore. If you look in your code down here, it says click me. And all we need to do is change that code that says click me for the URL of your image that we're going to use and then we can click update now we'll refresh the page and there's the cat image so we click it and then play the cat picture our video. So I'll just show you once again. This where it says code here. WordPress has in, in, inserted that automatically. We don't really need that. WordPress just puts it in for us. But that might or might not appear on your um, when, when you're doing this. So let's just remind ourselves of what exactly we needed to do. All you need to do, you need to get the embed code from YouTube, you need to get the short code from the plugin site, and we replace this video ID with the ID from your um, video, your YouTube video. Let's see if we can find that. And that is just this little bit here. It's not the full code, it's just that little bit of gobbledygook code there. It comes after embed and there's a forward slash. And that's the bit you want. So where did we get to? Let's have a look. <coughs> uh, type in the width and height you want to use and either type text in there where it says YY to type text or um, put the URL of the image you want to use. Right and when you when you get the image URL uh, the, the URL for the thumbnail you're using uh, you want to go right from HTTP up to either JPEG or GIF or whatever type of image it is that you're using. I think that's all you need to know. Well, I do hope you give it a try. It's not a bad video. It's not a bad uh, plugin. This it, it, there's a free version and a paid for version, um, and we're using the free version here. But uh, if you want to open videos, YouTube videos in a light box, it's well worth a try. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.